hi guys it's bernie here welcome back to my channel and if you're new thank you for tuning in or thank you for clicking on this video so i'll try and make this nice and quick a um, very short video um but as you guys have probably seen from the title below i'll be talking about extracurricular activities for medical school yes it does say medical school but you could also apply this to other degrees for applying in terms of applying for university um applying for university now is not just about your academics getting all the gcse's or a levels wherever it is but also um, coming off as a all-round candidate obviously there are other people applying for this university place so you have to come across as a very strong candidate and also quite unique stand out um, so if you guys do want to find out my tips and advice about this then just keep on watching first off there's a lot of misconceptions out there about what um, extracurricular activities to do these things are not set in stone there isn't a specific i can't sit here and tell you that if you do this if you do that you're definitely going to get into medical school medical school admission tutors don't have a list of activities and tick it off when they read your personal statement or oh, yes he plays the piano oh yes she plays football they don't have a specific number of things rather it's how you apply what it is that you've done so what you've learned from it the um, experiences that you've gained and um, what how you're able to assess what your weaknesses are um working with people what you've learned about yourself as a whole as well so different things like that on the other hand it's not a good idea to you know spread yourself really thin and do every and anything just because you want to have a lot of activities to put in your personal statement it really doesn't make any sense and it's not going to help you because if you're someone that you apply yourself very thinly to every and anything it'll probably mean that you're not able to make a big impact in whatever it is that you're doing um you're just going to be a sideliner rather than someone that picks a specific number of things and they're able to really come across in whatever it is that they're doing as a leader of that um rather than just a member of it so yeah it, it's not honestly not a good idea to do every and anything just because you want to do something if you are going to pick what to do if you're trying to decide on what to do i would advise that you pick on your strengths and your weaknesses and i will explain why i said this obviously your strengths are things that you really enjoy and things that you you know like doing you love doing you're good at so yeah definitely do things you know in that as well but it's also important not to neglect your weaknesses so things that you're struggling on say for example you're someone that struggles on prioritizing prioritization or time management or just um leading in general you're not very confident in yourself you have to take up different take up something that um works on these weaknesses even if you know at the end of it you're not 100 percent. nobody's perfect even if you're not 100 percent at the end of it you've improved and if you're able to show that when it comes to your application it shows that you're someone that you can critically analyze yourself and that comes off very very good on your application you're someone that like i said you um struggle on time management if you're able to take up different tasks as well um at the same time and able to prioritize what to do and how to do it um it really really helps you and you build up as a person and now i said i wasn't i couldn't <laughs> now i said i couldn't tell you what to do and how to do it but i decided to like um split the you know extracurricular activities into two groups as to give you an, give you ideas of what you can do so the first one it's like academics so your work experience so um general work experience so going to a gp surgery or hospital and like i was saying in my previous video it's important not to if you can because it can be quite hard to gain work experience to try and get more than one and when you do get it in different departments so you have an idea of you know the different um specialty and you didn't go in with a bias idea like i said earlier so if you do some work experience in a gp surgery you could also try something on the wards or um, try something in terms of theatres or um, pathology as well a lot of people tend to <laughs> tend to ignore pathology but um, also gain an idea because all of this are intertwined um, all those different departments are intertwined so yeah do some work experience you could also um, volunteer um, I personally volunteered in a nursing home um, before my application um you could volunteer in a nursing home or in a hospice and it's not just about you just going there and sitting down and saying hello to them you know anyone could come in and say hello to them we decided that we were going to um 
create something for them to do so they usually had um i think from three to four o'clock they used to have like a um games thing so we decided to also include um reading as well because we found out that some of them do like reading so we had like a reading group or reading club so um making something making an impact because hopefully fingers crossed um they still carry it on i think um but even if they don't and um, we made an impact there the people that do like reading they were able to enjoy for that period of time and uh, the book club the reading group and i was able to say that in my interview because that shows initiative like you're able to um you know think on things and create things so we did that as a group so yeah just not just going there but also um doing something that makes an impact so there's things like um going abroad to do work experience as well um i went to india now how many years ago so long this was like in i think in like year 10 or something i went to india this is so i think it was year 10 end of year 10 end of year 10 i went to india for about a month i'm not too sure if it was a month but something like that i think it was about a month because we spent two weeks in a um, government hospital and then two weeks in an orphanage and it, this was just um for me personally it just showed me the different um type of healthcare system so obviously you're used to the nhs system here and how you know things are free for people that can afford certain things or you know just generally healthcare is free um but um over there it's a lot different things work differently um to see your doctor is different so you could do work experience abroad as well um to just get a different idea of um just what being a doctor is what being a doctor is about or just what being a healthcare professional is about and the other group is your um i don't i can't really put a name to this so i'm just going to call it an all-rounder so it's your um your hobbies things you like to do like i was saying about your strengths things you enjoy doing things that um are your escape away from academics um so you like your sports uh music if you do it play any instrument um clubs and societies um i don't know your part-time job could also possibly be something for you as well um or exercise meditation whatever it is that um, is your escape route because this is very important in terms of like um dealing with stress um you want to be able to um have something that you're able to do other than academics when things start to get to you something that you can do your escape route that helps you deal with stress this would really help you when it comes to your interview when you could possibly get a question on because obviously medicine is quite can be quite stressful if you get a question on how do you deal with stress on how or how do you prioritize different tasks if you if you have something that you do that helps you escape you're able to say what you do and how it helps you to deal with things um as a person um, I will be um, doing a couple more other videos on, in terms of the medical series on how to like write your personal statement and how um, later on in the future um, tips on interviews as well. So you guys keep an eye out for that one. So yeah, just try to do it as much as you can, but not so many that you're not able to make an impact, like I said. Um, I do hope this video helps. Like I said, I want it to be really nice and quick. So I do... I do hope it's nice and quick um, and you guys were able to take useful points and tips from it. If you guys do have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to um, answer your question. I'll also add my um, email address at the end as well because in case you want to ask me something in private, whatever it is, um, that's fine. Just drop me an email and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, do it now. Don't, don't waste time do it now and do click on the notification box so you don't miss any videos from me and i'll see you in my next video guys bye